here with some expert tips on how to make sure your Thanksgiving dinner is a success is my guest Bernard Gias, executive chef at the Marine Room and La Jolla Beach and Tennis Club. Welcome back, Bernard. Bonjour. Always wonderful being here. Good to see you too. Now, before we actually get to the dinner, what can you recommend for cooks today? What should they do to sort of decrease the stress, if that's possible, before tomorrow's big feast? Make a list. Go shopping now. Make sure that you have all your ingredients so like this you, know, you, you don't have to run around. So if you have your turkey, if you have your side dishes, if you're baking your pie today, if you're making your cranberry sauce today, if you're baking your, your, your stuffing today, then tomorrow is going to be a breeze. Only cooking the turkey and that's it. It sounds so relaxing the way you put it, it that relaxed. way. But when it comes to cooking a traditional turkey, let's say in the oven, uh, how do you recommend doing that? Well, the best thing to do is to have your dial at 325 degrees. You plan to be about, uh, I would say, 12 to 14 minutes per pound. So that's the way you should plan it. And then what I like to do is I take butter and I give the, the turkey a massage with the butter <laughs> and I put the spices and the fresh herbs and then you put it in the center of the oven. And every 10 to 15 minutes, you take that butter and you baste. Make sure that you, you are basting all the time. And then rotate the turkey because most likely there is a hot spot in your oven. Okay, I am seeing a video of you uh, stuffing the turkey with it looks like herbs. Should you put stuffing and or herbs or anything in your turkey? You can put stuffing if you want to, but most likely what will happen is the stuffing needs to go to 165 degrees. So it means that you have a big chance that you will overcook the breast and you overcook the bird. What I like to do in the cavity, onions, celery, um, aromatic vegetable, um, uh, garlic, for example, uh, sage, and this will just infuse the whole oven. That's what's great about it. It's like, you know, aromatherapy. Every time that you open the oven, you have that, ah, and everybody, when they come in the house, they are so happy to be to be there because it's, it's, you just can't it wait. You get so, so good, you know? hungry. Let's talk about side dishes, which are my absolute mm. favorite. Is there one or two uh, that you could offer a twist on? Let's say your basic mashed potatoes or green beans or something like that. I'm going to give you the basic for the for the mashed potato. You need to make sure that you use, let's say, russet potatoes is the is is the best one. High starch, really good. You have to start it cold water. Cold water, always cold water, and sea salt. You bring it into a, to a simmer. When they are tender, you mash it. Creme fraiche, mascarpone, butter, yummy. Salt, pepper, boom, you're done. If you want to play with uh, uh, sweet potato, boniato, it's a sweet potato from Cuba, available pretty much everywhere. And you finish it with a little bit of butter, maple syrup, and a little bit of spice drum. You can also use purple potatoes. And the spice drum is okay because the, the alcohol, so the little ones at the kids' table can, can yes, eat it. Yes, because okay. the alcohol will cook up. But the other thing you could do is play with something that's going to be different. Root vegetables such as celery root. It is sweet, it's delicious, roast really well. Do some parsnips, some, some rutabaga, just, just change it a little bit let's and that will be fun. Let's talk about vegetables. So if, let's say you're having vegetarians over and you want to uh, as, uh, serve something besides salad or mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. if as good as that sounds, what, what can you do there? I gotta tell you, I use tofurkey. Tofurkey, for example, so it's, a, it's like, a, it's like a, a tofu turkey, I would say, but it's all tofu. But the thing is you can still do a lot of the basting and, 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 and the basting that you would do, you do it with, I, I do a, a soy, tangerine, a little bit mm. of honey, and it, it's it kind of Asian flavor. It's really good. When it comes to vegetables, you still can do a lot of your, go to farmer's market. I mean, there is gorgeous um, green beans right now. So if you do your green beans, you do your roots, you look at uh, uh, heirloom carrots. You can roast all this with extra virgin olive oil and fresh herbs. It's delicious. Super fresh and, and super grains. delicious. Do you, you look at your grain, your quinoa, your all your all your super grain, and it's it's really wonderful. And we'll have to end on this one, but some heart healthy uh, suggestions. So people who want to eat a little bit uh, healthier and still enjoy their Thanksgiving dinner. You know, talking about about uh, different grain, look at doing, for example, a um, uh, wild rice, sun-dried apricot, mm. sun-dried um, cranberries, and you add to this your your uh, slice um, uh, haricot so vert, for, for example, oh, and that would that would be just fantastic. So you can r use all the vegetables that we talked about, and it would be just nice and balanced. But don't forget, 
even if you want it heart healthy, you still need to have a pie. You have to have You have to have a pie. pie. Well, okay, I can't let that go. What is it? What is the pie? You know, just that beautiful pumpkin pie, but use different pumpkin. Don't get stuck on one pumpkin. You can do kabocha, you can do sweet potato pie. You can do, you know, I saw some cherries. There were still some cherries the other day. You can do a cherry pie. You can do apple pie, bacon pie. Okay. You can do all the pie in the world. I, I am so hungry right mm. now. We are at a time. I want to let people know that we have one of your recipes for a Thanksgiving turkey thank on you. our website, kpbs.org. Chef Bernard Gias, thank you and happy Thanksgiving. My pleasure. But don't forget, toast everything with a nice glass <laughs> of rosé. Because rosé is a perfect pairing for that oatmeal. All right. Thank you. I'm hungry. My pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.